it is your favorite Terra Little Bacon Bear. Now, you might know my voice from 93.9 WKYS on the radio. So if it be in the midnight, you might know me as a DJ, you might know me as a host, but either way, we're here for a great cause tonight. We are here to help one community close the gap. We'll have one of a con performances, but of course we're here for an amazing cause and to raise awareness. Now, OCU does all the hard work. They do incredible work and they support the youth and the DC community. Tonight we have special performances from Dior Ashley Brown, Aztec Sun, Rochelle Rice, Baba Rosti, and Rising Appalachian. We'll also have some incredible shout outs from Raheem Devon, Rashida Talib, DC Council Member Robert White, and of course, oh my god, Bernie Sanders. Plus, keep your eyes open for special appearances from OCU's Rockstar staff as we highlight what OC is all about. Peace world, it's the Love King of R&B, Raheem Devon, giving a big shout out to One Common Unity. Listen, you got my support, and if anybody sees this video, support the youth, man. You know, make a, make a contribution, donation, Whatever you got to do to attend this thing, to review this thing, because it's going down. Love Life. Again, I'm Raheem Devon, leader of the Love Life Foundation, community activist, and also singer, R&B singer, soul singer, and all that good stuff. Extraordinaire. Love Life, man. Love Life, Love Life. And again, shout out to you. Y'all do y'all thing, man. Y'all shut that thing down. Now, if you're from D.C., you're probably quite familiar with how different sides of the city can be so different. And these gaps that we're referring to, lack of access to mental health care, unequal distribution of green spaces, generational trauma, and educational inequity. Our youth grapple with so much and they struggle to find the resources they need to thrive. Help OCU close the gaps by going to give.classc.org slash OCU close the gap. Every year, OCU strives to do this through their flagship fly-by-light program in Core Pillar. Check it out. all these great people. We talk about things to better ourselves and things that can better the world. Join Fly by Light, it's great. Hey, One Common Unity, it's Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. I wanted to come in and thank you all and give you all a big shout out. Just know that you are loved, that you all are appreciated, and thank you to everyone supporting this amazing organization. The art-based programs that create safe environment for youth that are vulnerable right now and really going through a difficult time, thank you. You are all planting seeds, seeds for our future leaders. Thank you so much, and know that you always have a partner in me in the United States Congress. Thanks, Rashida. Okay, great message there. For our first performance, we have two-time Whammy Award winner in Dior Ashley Brown. Now, she's a musician, actor, poet, activist, and the founder of the DC Music Summit. And her mission is to maintain the soul of the music, empower all people, especially black women and girls, and leave a legacy of positive change. Here is Dior Ashley Brown and Flotus. No resolution. Your illusion, your confusion, my mind, you won't prostitute. I'm gonna get the loot. I'm gonna call the troops for the youth. And 
you But I was searching for the truth since an adolescent Been a lesson in the stress of my descendants I'm black, Latino, Asian, and Anglo or Django Listen to my Django, you know my identity Dating enough black for the century Still looking like an enemy Cause I run my pros like a centipede To keep them everywhere and the real evil of it Taking your fable, cause I rock mice like Mabel, pimp words like stable. My medulla met Medusa, now these snakes is all lace, fronting all up in my face. I tell you, if it's gray day, May day, week to week, your payday. How I catch that relay out the cradle, but still can't The night is the day, get down, get down. I'ma get down, go get down, get down. I'ma get down, go get down, get down. I'ma get down. No resolution Your illusion, your confusion My mind, you won't prostitute I'm gonna get the loot I'm gonna call the troops We for the youth And you for the boot Your constitution No resolution It's your illusion, your confusion My mind, you won't prostitute I'm going to take the loot I'm going to call the troops For the youth And you for the boot Ah, so much you digesting Can't eat that beeswax None of what you hear Half of what you see Is it really real? What do you believe? What can you conceive? If they out to deceive Make it harder to achieve So you switch to flex seed Hoping you survive Old enough to make it reach Oh, why they twist it? What you practice? What you preach? So you go and grab a peach Cause it's all you can eat it. They forgot about it. Think a lot about it. Get your legacy against this currency on autopilot. So I need you to get back. Got it back. Hey, what's up, guys? Your girl, Dior Ashley Brown, MC, founder of the DC Music Summit. So proud to be a part of this amazing lineup for One Common Unity. I love how they are closing the gap to support middle school and high school students who need access to safe environments, uh, arts, education, and health care. Please help their efforts. Please donate to this effort. Please support them. I'm so glad to be a part of this Turn Up My Song delivery that's out on all platforms. You can also check me out on YouTube at M-I-Z-Z-D-A-B-I-S-B-A-D. What? Ms. Dab is bad on YouTube and watch the whole video delivery there. So much love and peace. I appreciate y'all. One common unity. Now that's how we start a show. Thank you so much, Dior Ashley Brown. What does close the gap even mean? The gaps are afraid of the many socioeconomic disparities here in Washington, D.C., for the lack of access to health care, safe environments, and quality education, to generational poverty and trauma. We're all connected in this struggle. We live in a world where violence is what sells. There's a lot of money to be made from violence, a lot of profit from killing. So our movement, which was birthed out of gun violence, our organization, One Common Unity, which was taking a collective stand against violence in this city, it is proactively working every day in these schools to provide spaces for us to grow the leaders of the future. Help OCU close the gaps by going to give.classc.org slash OCU close the gap. Name best local original band. Aztec Sun's music inspires audiences with a message of justice and unity. Before we get into the music, we'll hear from Aztec Sun's band leader. Peace, everyone. My name is Stefan Detru, and I'm the band leader for a local funk with soul band called Aztec Sun. And I'm here to give a big shout out to OCU and your students for all the great work you're doing. It's such a great honor for us to be included in this Close the Gap event because the work that you do resonates with the work that we do. Um, in our band, we work in human resources and education and law and housing and civil rights, storytelling, customer service. So we, we really, all of us work in the people business. And that's also what our music is all about. So again, what you do really resonates with who we are and what we believe in. Art is a powerful tool for healing, self-expression, but it's also a great way of inspiring change in the world around us. Everyone has a voice. We believe that truly. And we believe, too, that you can use that voice to move the world in the way that you want to see it. And you don't need a stage to do that. 
So we really want to encourage you to keep doing all the work that you're doing, to keep bringing your whole selves and your passion to the work that you do, because your actions really contribute to making the world a safer, more inclusive, and better space. The performance that we're sharing with you today is called The Healing. It talks about gun violence, it talks about its victims, and it really ends with a call to action for all of us to think about how we can co-create a world that is better and safer together. So with that, we hope you enjoy the, the, the music. Uh, thank you again for your commitment. Thank you again for including us in this important event. And on behalf of our band family, much love to all of you and congratulations on the 21 years. Uh, here's to at least 21 more and beyond. Take care. Aztec Sun is a musical ensemble with an upbeat and retro groove, steeped in 70s funk, soul jazz, Afro funk, and Motown era pop. This next one is called The Healing. It's a song about gun violence and its victims. With so many things going on in the world, it's hard to step back and look in the mirror. But the sun and the stars and the moon keep shining. How can the picture be blurry? With somebody with a bullet from my glass house, and my front door is left wide open. I'm stuck to the ground, holding on to life as the tears and the shots started falling. When do we start? When do we start? When do we start the healing?
stop the healing Start the healing. When do we start? When do we start? When do we start the healing? Tell me when. When do we start? When do we start the healing? Tell me when. When will we start the healing? Tell me when. keeping up the good work by providing in-school and after-school activities, nature field trips, and mental health services for at-risk youth in D.C. to help them grow and start their own healing journeys. Support social justice by raising their voices and helping you to identify what they care about in their community. I'm confused about this whole system thing. Not because of an imminent threat they the pose to the safety of black the school, students, but, but because they're often experiencing this sort of location for punishment and marginalization. Just because I'm Hispanic don't mean that I come from Central America. Don't mean that I am an immigrant. What do you see yourself as in a mirror? That's the question. Black people are great teachers. Black people are vanguards and visionaries. Black people are experts of their own experience. Not in need of my sympathy, just my sincere effort to eradicate oppressive systems. There are future Black, Black, Black lives, lives matter. matter. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Women can be phenomenal, strong, and amazing. Women have shown the deepest strength. Women are powerful. Women are biologically miraculous. Women are sacred. Las mujeres son sagradas. And for our next gorgeous performer, walking a fine line between jazz and folk, award-winning singer-songwriter Rochelle Rice dedicates much of her work to social justice in presenting music that transforms and heals. She's launching a women's storytelling podcast. Tell her this. Let's hear it for Rochelle Rice. I had one, but let my kindness be like kindness. Counting days as you go away.
What I love about working for OCU and being a part of OCU for as many years as I have is um, one, the allowance to be able to uh, be your authentic self as an artist um, and to be able to bring the best of the art form and the best form of your uh, artist, you know, educator experience to the table um, and being able to be um as creative, you know, as creative as you want to be, um, and having that all, and having that autonomy. Um, I think that um, the combination of being able to do what you love in a way that, like, impacts young people um, and, and adults, you know, and at the same time you're doing it through a medium by which you love is always a win for me. And um, I couldn't see myself uh, doing anything else. I would have to do. Um, the arts has to live in what I do. So that's why I like OCU. Thank you, Princess. One Common Unity's crown jewel of arts performance and empowerment are their powerful showcases where OCU shines a light on multi-talented youth here in the district.
Hey, I'm at large council member Robert White. I want to give a shout out to the OCU youth. You all, the arts are such a powerful tool for growth, for discovery, for healing. I absolutely love the work that you all are doing. I want to encourage you to keep pushing, keep doing your thing. You all are the next leaders. So keep doing what you're doing. I'm so proud of you. Help OCU close the gaps by going to give.classy.org backslash OCU close the gap. And give what you can. And of course, thanks. For the next performance of the night, this longtime DC artist has been with One Common Unity from the beginning. Baba Ross D in his Arambe experience is a beloved DC institution. Baba has been passing the peace for over 20 years. Well, salute family of humanity. What an honor it is to be a part of this auspicious occasion once again. Give thanks for the family of One Common Unity 21 year celebration. Boy, time flies. What a joy it has been to watch the level up of the program's outreach to where scholars who have graduated are now serving leaders of the future. It is a joy, it's a full joy. And this is the why I'm here today as Baba Ross D. It is an inspiration to bear witness to the level of commitment, the frontline staff, those who are servant leaders inside of the retreats, the participants, the scholars who come and commit themselves to excellence. We are give thanks for all of the board members. We we'll appreciate love the sponsors for all of these years. And we hope that you continue to be part of the vision of one common unity into the next future, impacting the generation of tomorrow to pass the peace and not the frustration. This is the inspiration I have for you to remember. One common unity works because we are one. So in the spirit of Harambe, I want you to join with me celebrate the circle of one common unity. Remember, Arambe works and we are one. Arambe works. Arambe works. Can you say that? Arambe works. When we are one,
we are one and we are one. Woo! Glorious! Great! Now throughout this event, of course, I've got to remind you we're here for a great cause and it's a benefit show. And of course, check out this shout out. What's up, One Community? It's Gallant. I just wanted to give a shout out to OCU and all the OCU students for making such a big commitment to art, music, and the importance of mental health and well-being in the pursuit of those forms of self-expression. I grew up in the DC area, so there's nothing more important to me than making sure that we have a strong, vibrant, artistic community. It's so inspiring for me to see so many students use their creativity to amplify their personality, not make compromises or mute it in any way. When I first started making music, it was really hard to do it without judging myself or worrying about what my peers would think about my music, looking over my shoulder at the progress other people have made. And it really took mindfulness to be able to ground myself and be confident in my own self-expression. Your artistic identity, your creative voice has the power to inspire and maybe save the life of someone who's never seen their perspective represented before. What you create with no compromises is that important. Once again, I'm so honored to be a part of this effort of building a better community, and I can't wait to see the brilliance that OCU and its students continue to bring to the world in the future. love about One Common Unity is the ability to support young people in becoming leaders in their own communities. I love watching the power of youth identifying issues they want to change, supporting them to identify strategies and tactics and incorporate art into making DC a better place for themselves and everyone else. Last but not least, to round out the spectacular performances for the evening, here is none other than the community activist sisters we all know and love, whose art is a source of activism and have been longtime supporters of OCU. Let's hear it for Rising Appalachia. What's going on? One common unity. Hey y'all. We love y'all so much. Happy birthday. Yeah. Good work, good holding the work over all these crazy years. The long haul. Uh, we're Rising Appalachia. We've been affiliated with so many of, of the members and our dear friend Hawa, who's your founding uh, and organizing steward. And uh, we used to play back in the day at, at the DC, um, ooh, now I can't remember the name of that sweet club we always used to play at. Bus Boys and Poets. Bus Boys and Poets. That's where we used to play with one common unity. I won't date us and tell you when, but we're honored to be <laughs> supporting y'all and to see you thriving. So we wanted to sing this song for you. This is an original called Synchronicity. And we yoinked one of Hawa's amazing phrases, trust before you suspect. suspect. Trust before suspicion. Trust before suspicion, um, which was really touching for us. And as songwriters, sometimes you're like inspired by people, of course. So yeah, totally. That is in this song. So this is a shout out to Hawa and to One Common Unity. Yeah, keep doing the good work. Doing the good work. And we are all brave, and we can all soar, far past boundary, content that less is more. Birds of the same flight, heading into the sun, shape, shifting all the days until we are all one. Trust before you suspect that there's 
nothing more that this is all, all, all that you get, 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 all that you get. See you, golden child. We will move from complacency back into the wild. The mechanics of power are pulsing in your cells. Just stand up and connect. Hold tightly to your bell. 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 Keep up the good work. Thank you. Let's hear it for Rising Appalachia. And now, check out this shout out. Hello, OCU students. Um, on the message of unity, I just want to say keep doing great work. Keep inspiring. Um, in my experience, the thing that separates those who make it and those who don't is purely just patience and perseverance. Um, and I want to say also that those who disrupt what has always what has always been done on the planet, those are the ones who end up shifting culture. And it sounds like and it seems like many of you are those people. So I wish you best of luck. Keep doing it and know that you always, always, always will win in the end if you stand for what you believe in. Bless. And OCU is committed to helping youth share their voice through music videos like Unity Peace, Positivity, Misintention, and Love Yourself. Check out some of the snippets of these powerful music videos that have been released by OCU over the past few years. Reclaim. So many girls, they never live. Yeah. Carry shame in their pockets. Time to heal and reveal how they feel and how to stop it. Many women never give. Carry pain in their lockets. If we heal and reveal what they conceal, we can stop Can you listen? Can you listen? With intention. See, that's the pain. And see her heart can change the game through using us. Can you listen with intentions? See past the pain and see her heart can change the game through using us. Can you listen with intentions? Can shift the shame and heal the heart through the power of the arts. Can you listen? Intention, not detention. So he asked, where all this hate come from? They said, look at our history. That's all they said. And he said, oh, where did the past was mystery? He's sitting there, he's thinking, oh, why this happening to me? All he ever wanted was some peace and positivity. Peace and positivity, that peace and positivity. All he ever wanted was some peace and positivity. Peace and positivity, that peace and positivity. All he ever wanted was some peace and positivity. Hand up, hand up, hand up. Shorty, I got a confession. I really care for your health. You carry yourself with perfection. I love when you love yourself. And you don't even got a question. Cause you don't need nobody else. And I just thought I should mention. I love when you loving yourself. 
Shorty, I got a confession I really care for your health You carry yourself with perfection I love when you love yourself And you don't even got a question Cause you don't need nobody else And I just thought I should mention I love when you love yourself Whether she is making music, being a part of the movement, or just being active in her community, Zaya is all about DC. Check out her song, Dear DC, if you don't believe me. Zaya is a light and an inspiration to her community via the music and activism that she loves so much. So, give it up for Zaya. What's up, everybody? My name is Fly Zaya, and I am a 10-year-old MC from DC. And I'm super happy to be here in support of One Common Unity and all of the amazing things they are doing for the DC youth and special shout out to the youth I just want you all to know to keep your head to the sky make sure your dream is in focus it'll prepare you to fly spread your wings take notice let's go for a ride just let the love lead you don't be bashful or shy we gotta come together forever through windy weather it's better if we could all just unite without the pressure let's fight for our treasures take flight to any measure at night it's now or never just right for our endeavor I'm like Thanks for being here and thanks for watching. Bye! Another way One Common Unity raises awareness of what's going on in the community is through the power of storytelling. Like OCU's documentary films like Fly By Light and The Melody Lingers On, here are some snippets of the trailers. If we're able to detach ourselves from the hurt, then we can take responsibility for our healing. We can channel that anger in a way where it moves mouth. Music has stopped and the melody lingers on. I love that OCU's behavioral health program expands the definition of mental health work. I really love that we find ways to incorporate things like joy and creative play and imagination and the arts in the mental health work that we're doing. And I think that that changes the conversation about how this work can function in the future. One way OCU youth experience nature as a healer and are introduced to concepts of environmental stewardship is through the retreats, the backbone of the organization. OCU retreats are an experience of a lifetime for the youth and reverberates exponentially. Witness for yourself the power of retreats. Why are retreats so important? They're important because they give us an opportunity to step out of our comfort zone, to move away from our everyday monotony, our neighborhoods, our homes, and to get into a new environment where we can reconsider, reevaluate, and reimagine our lives. Being out in nature in and of itself is healing. It is medicine. Being able to watch the flow of the water, feel the wind on our face, listen to the birds, that experience in and of itself brings us into union with what is beyond us. The healing part of nature is effortless and that's what makes it so beautiful. Usually I'm not with nature and stuff, but I just said, hey, I'll try something new and went for it and I'm having an awesome time. At home, it felt like I was just like cooping things up on the inside and I didn't really know how to express it. 
So, you know, being out here just helped me to release that. And now I feel like a lot more open, you know. It creates an opportunity for us to use the container of nature to guide us into deep spaces of creativity and imagination. And we become really, really open in these spaces to dive deep into conversations. And I see a lot of grass and the birds and the trees, and I see the good vibes of the community. And I go to meditate so I can find some peace, and I start to feel a part of OCU family. Oh. Here at One Common Unity and Fly By Light, we've always recognized art and music as the anchor to the work we do, and it is the anchor to what we do because art and music is the medium through which we can communicate a bold, audacious vision for the future. One Common Unity, Fly By Light. One Common Unity, Fly By Light. Play and laughter is intimately connected to compassion and kindness. So through cultivating play and laughter and joy, we're also cultivating compassion and kindness. And that is the amazing power of retreat. to all the folks at One Common Unity. That is the right theme. We're all in this together to fight for justice to save the planet. Keep up the great work. Was that actually just Bernie Sanders? Thanks, Bernie. Can I get $20 for mental health care, anybody? $20 for environmental justice? Visit give.classy.org backslash OCU Close the Gap to Give. We appreciate you. After 21 years, One Common Unity is in transition of leadership. Here now from OCU's Managing Director, Aaron Schneer, and then One Common Unity's new Interim Executive Director, Jeffrey Franco. It's such an exciting time at OCU. What stands out for me right now is how amazingly passionate and how strong our team is. I feel so blessed to work with everybody on our team to help build this beloved community. And I feel especially blessed to be witness to the, this incredibly graceful transition as Hawa steps into the next chapter of his life. Of course, staying deeply involved and connected with OCU. And as Jeff steps into his role as our interim executive director, um, Jeff brings an incredible clarity and care and experience to his work, to, to our organization, that I know OCU is just so lucky to have him here. And I'm really excited for what's to come. Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Franco and I am proud to serve as the Interim Executive Director of One Common Unity. Um, I love this organization. It really uh, aligns with my personal value system of wanting to serve the incredible youth in the District of Columbia. And I'm just so proud of the over 20 year history of this organization in really a movement for peace education and the building of a nonviolent culture through arts and music. And I'm proud to represent the organization and really work alongside my colleagues in taking this organization to the next level, the next chapter of the way we want to serve in this community. Um, the vision for what the next phase looks like, we wanna be serving more young people. We wanna be serving in more schools. We wanna make a deeper impact. There's so much need in Washington, D.C. And we, along with our other nonprofit partners, want to do our part to serving and creating greater equity in this community, which leads to our Closing the Gap annual event that's taking place this year. Closing the Gap can mean many things. For us, we wanna close the education equity gap. We wanna close the health access gap. We wanna shorten that gap of gun violence, uh, environmental justice. There's so many areas that we are so passionate about as an organization. And so this event is a symbolic of that, but also our way of raising money for us to continue to pay for the work and the amazing people that are part of this organization that do the work that we do. And so we ask you to join us 
Uh, we thank all the artists and musicians that have been part of this event and have contributed generously to this event. And we ask that you think of ways to contribute to our organization as well. Um, we love having champions of one common unity, and we hope we can count you as one of those as well. And we'll continue doing this work until we're no longer needed um, in this community. Um, but you can know that one common unity will always be there as long as our youth um, feel a need for us to be able to support them in, in leading incredible lives um, with all the challenges that exist in our community and all the promise that's there as well. So please contribute to closing the gap for one common unity. With your support, OCU will be able to provide more services and programs for even more youth and continue to strengthen our community through their powerful programming and important work. Again, visit give.classy.org slash OCU Close the Gap to help us close the gaps. Oh, one of the most amazing things that OCU offers the greater community is an annual national training where educators, youth workers, and healing arts practitioners can learn how to incorporate the fly-by-light curriculum into their peace education work. Here's a peek at what that looks like and how you can be involved. Whether or not you are a full-time teacher, whether you're just working in the community, or whether you're just looking to put yourself in a different headspace of thinking about the way that culture functions, this is an incredible experience. I'm here attending the training just so I can get a better grasp on how to work with the students in my program. I was like, that's it, like mindfulness and social emotional learning and social justice and social awareness and self-awareness. It's been a really great um, like returning back to like the basics and the foundations and helping me remember why I'm doing what I'm doing. I have a passion for youth and youth development and I wanted to take a training that would give me more skills um, to bring back to my community. It's equipped me with a lot of tools and resources to get on the ground again and like implement these things I've learned. So now I'm like super pumped up, I'm excited, energetic, ready to just go out and do. I'm so grateful for the National Fly by Light training. It was such a wonderful experience. One Common Unity is an amazing organization. The work they're doing is outstanding and I loved the entire experience. Thank you, the training was excellent. I encourage anyone to do it. And to be more committed to the transformation than the conflict itself. Peace. One of the things that I love the most about working at One Common Unity is the gift I have to work alongside a team of extremely talented and creative and authentic individuals each and every day. And I love the opportunities we have to bring the Fly by Light program into DC public schools to offer spaces for students to really transform and to express and to grow. And I also love the opportunities we have to do this among educators as well as for families. It has been a true gift and honor to be on this journey with One Common Unity. Let us help OCU close the gap together by making a donation tonight and then spreading the word. You can even share this video. Visit give.classy.org slash OCU close the gap to help us close the gaps. Thank you and good night. I've been your host, your favorite Tara Little Bacon Bear. Appreciate you. Happy holidays. I end my show always by saying stay well and be well. And thanks. Jesus.